Houghton man charged with impersonating a police officer is out on bail tonight. As we first reported last night, Michael Hillier allegedly pulled a woman over last Wednesday night near Cotton, which is north of Duluth. The woman told police Hillier was driving an old Crown Victoria with emergency lights flashing. She pulled over but felt like something wasn't right when he approached her with a badge, so she drove off. Hillier was eventually arrested and charged with impersonating a police officer, but recently posted bail. Now, that woman says her father was a police officer for decades, so she knew something just felt off. Northern News Now's Rob Coles heard from law enforcement on what you can do if you find yourself in a similar situation. Being pulled over can be a stressful experience. The most important thing is to, uh, is to not panic um, once you happen to notice those, uh, those red and blue lights behind you. For one Northlander, those flashing red lights raised a red flag. In reference to last week's encounter, Wade Rash with the St. Louis County Sheriff's Office says if you're concerned, you can wait to pull over until you're in a safe location, even if it's a bit of a drive. A safe location might not mean immediately. You might drive to the next gas station or where there's, uh, where there's some other vehicles. Rash advises people to use their turn signal or hazard lights to show police they plan to pull over. Getting a good glimpse of the car can also help you determine if it's legit. If you take a look at this car, you can see it is an official marked vehicle. It's fairly new. There's not much rust damage. And if you look at the lights, you can see they're coming out of many different spots. Officials with the sheriff office say that's one way to tell that this is an official law enforcement vehicle. Laws in Minnesota prohibit installing blue and red lights on a non-agency car, but other colors are allowed and it can be hard to tell the difference. And while it's not common for someone to impersonate an officer, Rash says it happens every now and again. Yeah, there's a saying, you know, routine traffic stop. Well, there's no such thing as a routine traffic stop. In Duluth, Rob Coles, Northern News Now. And according to Rash, if you're concerned, you can always call 911 to verify a law enforcement vehicle. The dispatcher will pinpoint the car that's pulling you over, even if it's from a different agency than your local police or sheriff.